it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you and showing you how to correctly name the images on your website's about page so that these images are SEO friendly. So in other words, what is the best way to name an image so that it, you know, is properly set up for SEO so that when it goes on your about page, it's going to do really well and help your website to rank higher. So the great thing about this is that it works. What I'm going to show you is going to work well if you have maybe like a one woman show or a one man show, you're a solopreneur and you only have like a website for you and yourself. But I'll also show you how it works if you maybe have like a team and multiple people and different headshots all on your about page. So I'm going to be showing you that. I'll be demoing it all on a Squarespace website so you can sit along and follow with me in real time. So I'm going to get started. But before we do, I wanted to show you that here on my website, I have, oops, hold on, where is it? Um, I have a Squarespace SEO checklist and I'm showing it to you because maybe you didn't know that this was out here, but basically what it is, it's a one page download that has been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And it will basically just walk you through everything you need to know about Squarespace SEO. So whether you're like a complete beginner and you need some guidance, or maybe you're more of an intermediate and you want to make sure that you just haven't forgotten anything or left something out while you've been working so far, then grab a copy of this. It's linked down below. It's so helpful. I know you're going to love it because like, if everyone else does too, and they are fine, they find it so useful. So you're welcome in advance for the Squarespace SEO checklist. All right, now let's get back to the website. So imagine here, we've got our cute website here. I'm demoing this, by the way, on a Squarespace 7.0, one of the Raleigh template websites. But if you're on 7.1, it's exactly the same process, okay? So if yours looks a little bit different, it doesn't matter. It's the same, <laughs> the same process once we actually start naming the image. So pretend here that we have in this first case, you have like Katie Smith, she's a wedding photographer, okay? So let's take a look at this page. So right now you have just a very basic, you know, about page, imagine, right? It's, it's chilling here, very relaxed. Now what we wanna do is take a look at the image that we're gonna be putting. So perhaps you're like, hey, I'm interested in Squarespace SEO and I want to learn how to do the image, but the current image that I have in place is something like this, where you see, look at that file name. Oh my goodness, that file name is a disaster. It does nothing from an SEO point of view. This image file name doesn't tell Google what the image is about. It's not like, you know, yeah, not telling Google anything it's about. It's not including any keywords. It really isn't going to help the image or the page to rank any higher. Right. So right now, this image right now, it looks aesthetically fine on the page, but from an SEO point of view, it's not helping us. So we, so maybe you find yourself in a case like this where you're like, I got to fix what I currently have. Or maybe you're like, I don't, I haven't even built my page yet. So I want to do it right from the start. So this is great. So what I always say is the very first place to start is look at the existing image, the physical file name, like as it appears on your computer. So in this case, I want to just compare two different things here. So you look, you look on this area and you know, this is the same image here in both cases, but look at one physical file name. Like you can see, I just took a random one from Unsplash, so whatever. But you can see that what I've done to start is I've renamed the physical file name, right? So in this case, it would be like Katie Smith, Seattle wedding photographer, headshot, right? Or, you know, you could be like John Smith, VP of marketing for whatever company or something, you know? what like yeah something similar to that so what we're doing the very first thing is we're just renaming the physical file name okay and now once we've renamed the physical file name on our computer then we're going to come here to squarespace and we're going to replace the image with the correctly named one so now i'm going to like delete the old one with the bad image title and i'm going to update it by inserting the correct the correct image right and now you can see that the image information is all there it's fantastic like we love to see it so now it's much more valuable from an seo point of view okay and then here in you can see that there's also sections for like image alt text that you can kind of like override you can oopsies um you know put some information in here the image alt text it's going to pull automatically the like 
physical file name. So in most cases, if you've named it properly, you like don't really need to add anything else in there. Um, but yeah, this is like the main place that I would start with. And then again, with the alt text, um, you know, you can add like these bad bit of information. You can say Katie Smith, like Seattle wedding photographer, maybe something like self portrait sitting on the floor, whatever. Because again, what you're doing here is you're describing the image so that it is like, you know, better for people that maybe are like visually impaired, but also the image alt text can benefit from an SEO point of view. So you're getting the double whammy of having the image file name correctly done. And then you're also adding the keywords here into the image alt text. So do you see how it's all kind of connected there? So I'm gonna save that page right now so you can see how it looks if you just have maybe one image on an about page. But now let's pretend um, you know, that we have another case. So in this case, pretend you know, we're no longer Katie Smith wedding photographer. Now in this case, pretend we are going to be Coastal Construction Limited, okay? Pretend, <laughs> roll with me here. We're, gonna, we're doing it all, we're doing the most. And now in this page, in this one, which will be slow here. Okay, now we've got different images, right? So in this case, pretend we've got like John Smith, who's a VP of marketing. And then we also have, let's say like Jane Smith, who's the VP of technology, right? So in this case, if we wanted to do something similar, we wanna make all of the images SEO friendly, even this one, maybe you're like, hey, this is the coastal construction team. Then you're gonna come back and update it from like the physical file names once again. So in this case, imagine like, we're just gonna use that same image and say, um, instead of being like Katie Smith wedding, Seattle wedding photographer, maybe this is going to be Jane Smith, like um, Coastal Construction Limited. Um, what is she, VP of technology, technology. And then you can even do, if you wanted to add a bit more, headshot, great. Okay, so see what we're doing again here. We're updating the physical file name and then we're gonna come back to the home page, swap it out. So again, I'm just gonna drag and drop. I know this is a photographer one, but like you, you're smart. You're following along with me, right? Good. And then you can see here that not only does all of the like SEO information there, you can see that the updated file name content is there. And then again, you can come in here to the image alt text and like add a little bit of info there. So you do it for this one, then you'd go back and do it for the next one as well. And then same thing here with the team, you would do something similar. So the same kind of principle. So it would be like Coastal Construction Limited, meet our team or meet our staff or something like that. So that when the image is uploaded onto the about page, it has more of that SEO value, okay? And then last thing to do is obviously just save once you're finished, okay? So my friend, that is a quick tutorial on how to properly name the image or images on your website's about page so that they're SEO friendly. And I hope you found this really helpful because for some of you, this might be brand new. For some of you, it might be a complete refresher or a reminder like, hey, it's been a while since I took a look at those images. So if that's you, then go ahead, spend a couple minutes updating it and thank me later once you start getting more traffic to that website and you know, reaping the benefits of it. So enjoy the video, make sure that you grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist. And if you want to learn more about Squarespace SEO, website design and development, growing your website, online marketing, anything like that, then take a look at the other videos that I have here on my channel, on my blog. There's so much content that you can work your way through and, um, and that's it. Enjoy it very much. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.